Hey, what's up, everybody? Um, so this week, I'm tackling the beast that is Shell Launcher and Restricted User. And so with that, we're going to show you Shell Launcher. We're going to see how we make this magic happen from Ubi right on in. Now we're going to try to see if we can get Windows 365 to work. We've been working on that for a little bit, specifically the Windows app. But if not, not a big deal. We will just pivot to a different app. But that's the thing is that we're going to try to make apps work. And if certain apps don't work, we just look at it a different way. And not every app is going to work with Shell Launcher. But we're hopeful that this one will work. So we're just going to keep, keep an eye and watch Ubi do its Ubi magic. Quickly into ESP within the first minute. Hopefully this will go pretty quickly. What we're doing is we're locking ESP into the Windows app so that that's installed beforehand. Just trying to facilitate a little bit of that magic. You can see here it's just zooming along once again. We're about to see if it actually did what we needed it to do. Now we're actually trying an app that we know that is more likely than not not to work for a reason. Just so you will see actually what you would your expected experience would be. So just to make sure we're not crazy, we're going to hit this with a little reboot. And we should see the auto login into a black screen. So I spent a bunch of time trying to see if I get Windows 365 to work. But from what I understand, they've never actually certified it to actually work in Shell Launcher, which is totally cool. So once we can really, are really confident it doesn't work, when an app doesn't work, what you'll see is it'll log you into the kiosk account. And then from there, see, see, you see it's logging me into the kiosk account. And then I'm just going to land on a black screen of death to basically nothing. Just like this. So this shows you kind of, okay, this app did not work. And we know the app's already there. We know that we did the things we were supposed to do. So now, in a minute, we're going to be back because we're going to go update this to using Notepad so you can see what we're talking about. Okay, we're going to take a look and see if possibly it's hit yet. Might need a little more time, but let's hope for the best. And there you go. Huzzah. You can see here that I have my Notepad app. It's pretty straightforward. It's very similar to Kiosk from that perspective. But there you have it. That's Shell Launcher. And I hope you enjoy it.